Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. So um, we will, today we will be discussing about the Descartes rule of science. Okay, so this Descartes rule of science is a little bit important for you to predict what are the possible combinations of the positive, negative, and imaginary roots that you will have in your um, polynomial functions okay so again this is important to determine the possible numbers of positive negative and imaginary roots in your polynomial function and where will this be important um, remember if you are trying to um, get the rational real zeros remember if there would be a, a lot of choices there for the possible zeros um, it will be a little bit hard for you to determine the zeros okay if um if there are late, like 20 combination uh, five combinations like um five positive and five negative as for if you know the Re Descartes rule of science if it said that um all the roots is positive therefore you don't need to check those negative real roots in the rational zeros okay so going here in the Descartes rule of sign we have two rules first one the number of positive roots which is um, p of x is equal to 0 is equal to the number of variation of signs or that number minus an even number okay so just uh, remember these terms and next the number of negative roots which is um, p of negative x is equal to 0 is equal to the number of variation of signs or that number minus an even number so kumbaga they, they are synonymous pero dito siya sa part na yan nagbago okay and if you will if we will be having our example it will seem easier to understand okay so let's have our first example um let's have a of x is equals to x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus x squared minus x and minus 3 Okay, so the very first rule that we need to do here is we need to determine the number of sine variation, okay? So what do we mean by variation of sine or sine variation? It just simply means that you need to check, okay, what are the different sine changes. And sine changes comes from positive to negative or negative to positive. So example natin is this one. So this is positive and this is negative. Therefore, this is one sine variation. This is negative to positive, then another sine variation. Then we have positive to negative, and that would be your next sign variation. And this is negative to negative, therefore there is no sign variation there. Okay, so meaning the number of sign variation here is three. Okay, so meaning the pos the number, the number of positive roots. Okay, the number no, not positive roots. The number of positive, the number of not positive possible roots. Wait, let me just rephrase. The number of possible, yeah, let us have this. Possible positive roots is just simply 3. Okay? And then, of course, there's a second statement saying that, stating that that number minus an even number. So we have this number minus an even number. And what is the, the smallest even number you can think of? That is simply 2. Okay? So we will always reduce it by 2. So that's 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. And that number again minus an even number, 1 minus 2, the answer is negative 1. And you cannot have a negative number for the count. Okay, you cannot have a negative count. So we will start, uh, end with this one, 3 and 1. The next one, let's go now to the negative roots. According to the negative roots, you need to get the P of negative X. So in this case, we need to get the A of negative X. So meaning all the values of x you will replace with negative x minus 2 times negative x cubed plus negative x squared minus negative x minus 3. So this one will definitely be positive because it's a negative number and then an even exponent minus this one. This would become negative because that's a negative number and an odd exponent. So this is 2 times negative x cubed. And then having that, you will notice uh, if this number is negative, then therefore double negative, it will give you a positive 2x cubed. Okay? Plus this one, 
negative number, even exponent giving you a positive number. Then last one, double negative again. So this is positive x and minus 3. Then the next thing that you need to do is you need to count the number of sign variation. No sign variation, no sign variation, none, and this one is 1. Okay, so meaning the number of possible um, negative roots is just simply 1. And you take that number, sabi natin in the next statement, that number minus an even number, so 1 minus 2. Since the answer will be negative, then we will stick with 1. Again, that number minus an even number, ito yung even number natin, the answer is negative 1. Since we don't accept a negative number for the count, kasi you're counting, nagbibilang ka, okay? You cannot have a negative number, so therefore, our answer we will stick with 1. Okay? And then the next thing that you need to do here is you need to pair them up. Okay? So dito, to, ne to 1, and then this one, to 1. Okay? So now, let's go now to the table. Okay? Because uh, the important thing here is you need to get uh, to establish the table of um, roots so that you will be able to see how many is your posi positive, negative, and imaginary roots. Okay? So let, now let's create the table, okay? So the table will go like this. So the first column would be for the positive roots. Okay, the next column would be for the negative roots. And then the last column would be for the imaginary roots, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to establish your table like this. It's 3 and 1. Okay, so you need to write all the positive roots. Okay, and then the next one, you need to distribute this one to all the positive roots in which that would be 1 and then 1. Okay? And as for the negative roots, you have to ask yourself. Okay? Because um, the last column would be this one. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay? Total. Okay? As for the total, you have to check your ex um, exponent or the highest degree, which is of course this one. Okay? So that is x raised to 4. Meaning, your highest number of positive roots would, must be 4. So, dapat it's the total is 4. So, on this one, the total is already 4. So, therefore, your imaginary roots must be 0. This one, the total is 2. So, meaning you still lack 2. May kulang ka pang dalawa. Therefore, your imaginary roots should be 2. Having a total of 4. And this would be your table of your possible, sorry, the table of your possible um, roots, okay? Possible roots. Either it's positive, negative, and imaginary roots, okay? So, that would be our first example. We will provide the next example on our next video. So, I do hope that you got it a little bit, okay? Again, the thing, let's have, just have a review. Okay, so, as if, if you're getting the possible positive roots, what you need to do is you just simply have to count the number of sign variation, this one po, the number of sign variation, and then just simply reduce that number by an even number, which is of course 2. Okay, so we have this one. And then as for the negative roots, you just simply have to get this one, the A of negative X. Okay, and then just simply evaluate based on the exponents and also based on the operation here to determine whether you will you have any sign variation or not. So in this case, you only have one sign variation, that number minus 2, so that's simply just sim um, 1. No other possible loops. And lastly, you just need to pair them up. So it will go like this, okay? So if you have your 3 and 1 for the positive and for the negative, you have simply 1. So you just simply have to pair them up. So, if by any case that your positive root is, say, um, 4, 2, and um, 0, okay, and then your negative roots is 2 and 0, so meaning you will pair them up. So, you will have 4 and 2, okay, you will have 2 and 2, and you will have 0 and 2. And then, the next one will be for the 0, so you need to pair up 0. Okay, so that would be 4 and 0. Okay, then you have 4, uh, 2 and 0. And then you will have 0 and 0. So you just simply need to pair them up. Okay, so pair, pair lang po.
Okay? So, I do hope that you got our topic for today. We'll provide another example in the next video. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.